I was watching a recent video by Scotty Kilmer. He has an automotive repair channel. And in that video, he was talking about cooling systems. And he specifically mentions Japanese-made radiator caps and how they have a tendency to fall apart. So knowing that my 05 Highlander, which I've owned since new, still had the original radiator cap, I decided to check mine out. And sure enough, on the underside, you can see where a piece is broken off. You can feel how rough this plastic is right there on that ring. So I bought a new genuine Toyota radiator cap off of eBay and when you compare the two caps you can definitely see that there's a piece in the middle on the new one that's missing from the old one which means the piece that broke off of the old one has fallen down into my radiator. So knowing that the first thing I did was drain a little bit of coolant out of my radiator hoping that that broken piece was sitting right on top but I did not find it. I was able to fish out this rubber washer and this metal ring, but the other pieces, the larger pieces, are still down in my radiator. What are the possibilities that those broken pieces that are now down loose in my radiator could make their way either through the lower or upper radiator hose and into my water pump or heater core? Could they possibly cause damage within my cooling system? So my advice to you is if you have an older Japanese-made car, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, whatever it might be, do a little bit of preventive maintenance and replace the cap with a new one before it falls apart like mine so that you can avoid this problem. And this new cap, this part number, fits over 350 Toyota and Lexus vehicles. I'll put a link down below to the eBay page that I bought this off of. And there's a list of compatible vehicles on that page. So check that out. So that's it. Check out your old radiator cap before it falls apart. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.